Congratulations! You decided to try out SQL Server for yourself. But which edition should you download? Hello, I'm Philip Burton of filecats.co.uk. SQL Server can be downloaded onto your normal computer. It does not require a server. But which version should you download? If I just Google SQL Server Downloads, it may take me to a page like this. And there are lots of different versions. So let's just quickly go through some of the versions. First of all, we got SQL Server on Azure. So Microsoft Azure is a cloud-based system. So if you do not want to have anything running on a server in your business, then this could be the one for you. Of course, all of your data will be in the cloud and that might cause you to have some certain security questions, which you will need to have answered before you install it. Now, Azure is not free. If you want to find out how much it could cost, then have a look at the Azure pricing calculator. So if I scroll down to databases, you can see here the various databases. Azure SQL database is your standard database. If you want a version you can more fully manage, then you could have the Azure SQL managed instance. It's a lot more pricier. If you just want a single database, then the Azure SQL database is the one that you can start with. It has most of the features of the high-end version. And you can see it does actually have a moderately high-end price as well. But you can mitigate that somewhat with the hardware choice and the instance. And also the purchase model as well. So you can get it all the way down to five US dollars a month. And it is usable. So if you're just wanting a very basic database in the cloud, then this could be the one for you. Aside from that, if you're downloading onto your server or your computer, there are five basic editions. And these are Enterprise, Standard, Web, Developer, and Express. So Enterprise is the full featured version. And as you can see, it's got a price to match. Standard, a few features missing. Web, this is designed for web hosters and web VAPs. So it's things to do with the web itself. So unless you have got something specific for the web, I wouldn't go down that route. So we've got these two paid options. We've got this specialist web, and then we've got these two, developer, which is free, and express, which is free. So what's the difference between these two? Well, developer gives you all of the same features as in the very expensive, the premium offering enterprise edition. However, there is one big thing. It is designed for non-production environments. So it's great if you want to learn on it, but it's not licensed for if you actually want to use it in business. Now Express, however, is a free version that is designed to be used in business. It's designed for the production of desktop, web, and small server applications, and ideal for development as well, just like the developer edition. Okay, I like the sound of free, but which should I go for? Well, it depends. What are you going to be using SQL Server for? If all you're going to be using SQL Server for is to learn or to create TSQL code, so this sort of thing that you can see here, the select statement with the six clauses, select from where, group by having an order by, then the Express Edition is perfect for you. It's a smaller install and can be used for commercial purposes as well. Microsoft says it's the best choice for independent software vendors, developers, and hobbyists building client applications. So if you're doing this sort of code, then you could go for the express version and then you don't have this big limitation of a non-production environment. However, suppose you wanted to do more than write TSQL code. So first thing is database administration. So these are things like backups and making sure that your software works well. Well, unfortunately with the express edition, there are some things that it can't do. So for instance, the high availability, backup compression, not there. 
and in fact most of the high availability not there in the express is there in the developer for the developer just have a look at the enterprise because it's the same but again you can't use it for commercial purposes so you probably wouldn't be using high availability anyway now the other thing about the express edition is that it is limited in terms of the amount of memory you can use so the maximum database size is just 10 gigabytes anything more than that and Microsoft expects you to go to a paid for version so the developer can go up to 524 petabytes but it's not licensed for commercial use so you won't be going anywhere near that in the developer edition if you're using it properly now notice at the top we've got something called express and express with advanced services so the difference with this is that you can use SSRS, that's reporting services, with the Express with advanced services. You can't use the Express edition. So if I go to the features supported by the various editions, you can see that while you can't create Power BI reports and Excel workbooks with the Express with advanced services, or mobile reports and analytics, you can do most of the rest of the stuff that you'd be interested in at a beginner to intermediate level for SSRS. Now there are two other things you can do with SQL Server. Integration services, this allows you to move data from one source to another and transform it, extract, transform and load. And you can see that with the Express version that functionality is simply not available. It is available in the developer edition. Additionally, SSAS, that's the analysis services. So this is when you are building cubes or using a tabular model. Again, is not there in the express edition. It is there in the developer edition, both for the MDX version, that's the multidimensional expressions version, and for the tabular. So what does this mean for you? If you are using this for commercial purposes and you've only got a limited amount that you are going to upload, then you can indeed use the Express Edition. If you have more requirements for a commercial edition, then you need to upgrade to a paid for version. However, if all you want to do is learn SQL, maybe learn it on your own computer and use SSAS, SSIS, then you are best advised to go to the developer edition. If you want to use SSRS, then you can use the Express edition as long as you use Express with advanced services. So hopefully you've now chosen which edition you want to use. And unless you've got a particular need, you should always use the latest edition. So if SQL Server 2022 is out by the time you're watching this video, use the 2022 version and just Google SQL Server download to get to the download page and then click the download now button. But if you're using the develop edition, if you're using the express edition, it's free. Now, if you want to see how to install the express or the develop edition, then have a look at the top of the video where I will be putting links to my videos for installing the express and the developer edition. It's fairly easy to do. And then once you've done that, you can take your first steps into the SQL Server world. And if I can help you further with that, then why not have a look at my website, filecats.co.uk, where I have got lots of Udemy courses on SQL Server and a lot more. Thank you for joining me in this video. If you like it, then please click the like button. And why not subscribe and click the bell next to it so you'll be notified of any new videos. Thank you for watching this and keep learning.